What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. You guys seen the thumbnail, you seen the picture. Ole Ole Chino, Marcos Maidana, is living high off the hog. He's enjoying his retirement at age 33. And I want to talk about it real quick. So, this picture leaked online. Marcos Maidana, he got caked out, he got chipped out off of the Floyd Mayweather fight. And he deserves it, man. I'm a long time, if you watch my channel, you know that. Madonna's one of my favorite fighters when he was active. I just like him, his guts and glory type of style. He just has a I don't give a fuck attitude. I remember on the All Access, they did the Mayweather Madonna All Access, and he drove up, or somebody was driving, he was in the passenger seat, and he drove up to the Mayweather Boxing Club, and he's pointed a gun out the window at the sign, and he's like, I don't care, I'm not afraid of nothing. He's a former gang member, he was in gangs, and just kind of doing stuff that he probably shouldn't have been doing and it comes with the territory when you, you come up from the mud you know what I mean come up from nothing come up from the dirt in poverty you you naturally cling to what's around and the role models and stuff like that so it sucks because Madonna I think would really really help the division right now because boxing has been kind of dry lately there's there's a couple things like I'm looking forward to did a video Robert Easter Jr. Kami you got Sergio Moore Golovkin Brook but I haven't really seen much big buzz. Now, Broner's moving back up to welterweight, so Madonna rematch was there. Errol Spence, if he would be able to derail someone like that. Keith Thurman, Sean Porter, Pacquiao. I always wanted to see, even after the Floyd uh, beat Madonna twice, I still want to see Pacquiao because Styles make fights. But for now, Madonna is enjoying his retirement, and he, he deserves it, man. He's a guy that gets hurt and comes back even stronger. Amir Khan fight, Josito Lopez, just, he's, he's a true warrior, I think he was even hurt in the Jesus Soto Cross fight, so shout out to Maidana for an illustrious career, giving us great memories and stuff like that, but this is the reason why he retired, that Mayweather paychecks, the Mayweather sweepstakes paydays, the two of them, the ones, the same ones Amir Khan was chasing, that Maidana got twice, it kind of zapped his hunger and desire to compete, because if you know anything about currency, the U.S. currency getting 1.5 is the inflation and the conversion rate taking that to a third world country like Argentina or somewhere where the value of money is different. He's living like a king. You can get just be sitting on acres. And, and that's what you see in this picture. And I think that's that's kind of just like a like I'm happy type of picture that he posted I don't think he's an overly cocky dude I think he he's a, he seems like a farm boy and he likes to go hunting and shoot pistols and stuff like that so I don't think he's like doing it to necessarily gloat but I think he's just saying like I'm happily retired and you know what I'm saying it is what it is so he's definitely eating off the Mayweather paydays he picked up some weight he's living high off the hog and like I said that conversion rate is ridiculous and it's evident because after two of those paychecks he thinks he has enough money to just survive and you know what i mean and, and provide a good life for his family and i know the conversion rate is crazy because i believe it was timothy bradley versus diego chavez who was another fighter from argentina another argentine fighter he only got something like thirty-five thousand to fight timothy bradley in las vegas so obviously i mean most people would consider that to be like a low ball like i, I don't i can't think of any even prospects like a sammy vasquez or errol spence jr I can't picture them taking a $35,000 paycheck to fight a guy like Bradley. But again, the conversion rate is different depending on where you go, what countries, and what places you're in. Let me know what you guys think of Ole Ole Chino. I really would have loved to see a Broner rematch. I think that would be good for boxing. Keith Thurman, tons of great fights. But, I mean, I prefer it this way. Go out like a G and go out on your own terms. You know what I mean? Which is kind of what Floyd Mayweather has done for the moment at least until he decides to come back if he decides to come back but I'm, I'm always a huge fan of fighters doing that don't let the sport retire you you retire like Madonna he could save face he went the distance with the best fighter in the world twice right and gave a, a better account of himself versus Pacquiao who was the guy that was supposed to knock Mayweather out Madonna in that first fight did better than Pacquiao arguably in the second fight too you know what I mean that one punch at the end of the third round he really the one they're saying he knocked Mayweather's tooth out and stuff so um, he did it his way, and I'm always a fan of that, just like Frank Sinatra, that my way. Go out on your own terms, and like I said, I prefer that. If your heart is not in the sport, don't be in the sport. You know what I mean? Guys like Chavez Jr., where you, you question if, if they really care about fighting, 
anymore, then that's when you have to you have to question if you should be a fighter. Like, uh, hey, are you really trying to make weight? And if Maidana doesn't have the passion, then even though for my own selfish reasons I want to see him keep fighting, there's better that he doesn't because he's a guy who hasn't been stopped and he's known for not being stopped. So I don't want to see him just in there not taking training camp seriously and trying to collect a paycheck and then he ends up getting knocked out by David Peralta or no he's from Argentina too so I'm not going to do him like that but I'm not trying to see somebody beat him that I know wouldn't beat him if he was focused you know what I mean so do it this way his countryman Sergio Martinez he unfortunately had to get retired by Miguel Cotto you know what I mean and it, it proved that his knee was was shot and he wasn't the same fighter after the Chavez Jr. 12th round let me know what you guys think huge fan of Marcos Maidana drop in the comment section let me know what you guys think what fights did you want to see for Maidana and what do you think about his retirement? Share the video. Like the video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing. Yeah.